we can go to the command line and we can first check what version of Node we have. So this is version 10, which will be just fine for our purposes. We can do an npm install uh, Prisma 2, and you want to have the global flag. And once that's finished, we can just check the version. And so it should be 0 0.90 or higher, because some of the earlier versions uh, had some pretty critical flaws that it would either do duplicate entries and it was just kind of a mess. So make sure you're using at least 0.9 or better. We want to go to our development folder and we can run uh, Prisma 2 and knit and then just the name of our project. So in this case, it will be SQLite Prisma. So we can go through this whole creation wizard. So we want to do a SQLite database. Now we want to use both Photon and Lyft. So Photon is what communicates with the database. Lyft is what does the migrations. We can create this. And uh, I want to create a TypeScript project. I want to do a GraphQL boilerplate. And now it's creating this demo project for us. Now we can CD to the folder, and we can just open the project in VS Code. Before I get too much further, though, I want to make sure that I can do an npm install so that I get all of the packages that I need from my backend server. Now, the first folder that I'm going to go into is the Prisma folder. And so there's this project.prisma. And so this contains information about the schema and then also how I'm communicating or which database I'm connecting to. So we can see that our data source now is a SQLite da uh, database. And then as I scroll down, I can see that there is a user and a post. Under user, we can, we can see that users have many posts. And source contains all of our backend TypeScript code. So it's just a conventional express server. I think in this case, it's using uh, GraphQL Yoga as kind of the base server. So now we want to be able to use Lyft to perform a database migration. We can go Prisma 2, Lyft, save. So this will look at that that's project.prisma file here, and we'll create a database migration. So we can name this migration. In this case, I'm just going to say first migration. And it's, and it's done. So the output is telling you all of the different stuff that it's doing in this step. And if we go to migrations, In Prisma, we can see that there's this there's this new folder and that there's our first migration here. And so the data model is gonna mirror the data model that we saw before. There's also a README, which will say all of the different steps that it's doing. So these are all the SQL commands that it's running to be able to create tables, create the relationships, and just all the things that it's changing. And there's also a steps.json, which is saying all the individual steps that it's doing to be able to set up this, these tables for us. Since this looks great, we can do Prisma 2 lift up, which will actually apply this migration to our database. And it looks like it perform successfully.
we can see that there's also now a dev.db SQLite file. 